Good afternoon to you all. I pray that you're feeling blessed and highly favored on today. Once again, you know that YouTube never recommends my stuff. Definitely go ahead and hit that that like button, man. Comment on the material, man. And go ahead and shoot it out there, man. You know, you know we got the realest content on YouTube, man. I be hearing these other dudes speaking. It be boring at best, uninformative, whatever word that you would like to use. You dig, uh, but yeah, definitely go ahead and like and comment, man. Help me go ahead and amass a following to where we can start. I got no getting some money up off of this thing you dig but um getting right into things uh today i'm in the hellcat and if you are familiar with uh youtube like i'm sure many of you are and um, then you know i'm in the hellcat you know um has a very interesting story to say the least you know and i like him I like uh, Ami in the hellcat man you know when you understand his background where he come from you know, uh, he, he's one of many children. I believe his mother was deported. You know, he come up kind of, you know, dibbling, dabbling in, uh, in the drug game, you know. And just an overall hustler. You can tell he got some hustle about himself because um, basically uh, what he's on, had to basically go to trial for is um, basically selling stolen cable. So he was basically redirecting cable from uh, numerous big companies and wholesaling it to his clients for roughly around $15 a month. So you had access to pay-per-view events, uh, cable, um, all types of stuff, man. So he was really just doing his thing. Now, of course, like all hustlers and drug dealers, well, majority of them, I'd say, you know, he had to he had to stunt. He had to show his wealth off. You know, he had to let folks know he was getting money. And so uh, that, re to me, that's really what kind of led to him or the feds actually being attracted to him because um, I think they shut his business down first and then they doubled back. And, you know, hit him with an indictment. But, um, yeah, he was just flexing too hard. I think he had, like, 20, 30-some cars out, out in the driveway that they seized. And uh, this, that, and the third. So that's just a bit of background on uh, on Ami and the Hellcat, man. But uh, recently, or I think, I believe as of yesterday, he just came out and said that, you know, the judge sentenced him to um, five and a half years, which, of course, will um, turn out to about two or three years for him and uh he was forced to uh, forfeit about uh, i want to say 30 million but he'll say uh within the video but so basically he had to just you know give money back and uh, i know they probably attempted to break him with that but you know any true hustler if he's showing that amount off or he has that in the actual bank man you know he got millions on reserve man so when he get out he gonna be straight and of course his family will be straight also in the meantime so we're not worried about that and you can tell from his reaction that he's very comfortable with um with the sentence that was passed down based on everything that he um, had, had got away with or uh, all of the money that he accumulated and he'll allude to that so you know without further ado let's go ahead and get into it and see what Omni had to say about everything man he's facing 27 and a half years we all know it started at 500 but um i just got sentenced today i feel like the judge was super fair um he heard everyone's testimony about my character everyone who came to court the judge ordered me uh, to 66 months in federal prison, which um, I feel as though it's fair for especially how, how much money I made. I had to pay uh, 10 point something million in restitution, which they already have, which will be applied to the, to which they already got the money now. And I got to pay another 5.7 million in restitution to the IRS. So, you know, I'll be home in the next two to three years. I hope you guys continue to uh, support Remote Universe. I got 60 days. So once again, this has been a long time coming. Uh, I had a seizure done in 2019. I got charged in 2021. You know, the judge was super lenient, but fair, but also didn't want to deter other people from committing the same type of TV piracy that I committed. Um, I was talking everything in detail. I'm coming out with a new YouTube video. Um, it'll only be done by Devin Wade. And um, we'll talk about it. But it's over. I already know what I'm doing. I know what I'm getting. There's no more stress. No more nothing. I know when I come home, 
everything will be fine. I'm good. 66 months was super fair. And, um, you know, it sucks for my kids, but I'm happy with it. It's probably, it's probably a salvation for my fat ass to lose some weight anyway. So. And there you have it. Uh, just a few takeaways from what he said. You know, um, oftentimes when you're coming from the bottom, you have to do a little uh, wrong in order to do some good, man. And, you know, uh, for his family to be set up for life, I think that's a fair exchange. You know, for him to come out and actually have all of the lines that he's established, all of the connections, the network, um, the network that he has. You know, he's good to go for the rest of his life. He's already jumped in and did what he needed to do. Um, so it's nothing not right at this point. He has the game. He know he can build anything from the ground up, you know, uh, and he's already starting with a little scratch. You know, he's not turning nothing into something. He already he working with a little something already uh, by all means. And so, uh, you know, he's uh, definitely shouts out to the brother. Like he said, um, if you've ever been through any type of uh, legal battle, then uh, you know how stressful that can be. So I know it was some stress on him. So he's just happy to kind of get everything out of the way. Um, like I said, he's going to the feds. So, you know, he's probably going to someone like a low end a little camp, man. You know, he's probably going to be back there playing tennis, doing his little thing. You know, he's not going to be in any type of immediate danger. He's just going to be chilling, man. Feet up for about two, three years, man. Then he's going to come back out and doing what he do. You know, he's probably going to have unlimited phone time in there to just do whatever he want to do, man. So he's just going to be chilling, basically, at a, at a recreational camp, you know, kind of like a getaway for two or three years. So, you know, just enough time for him to go ahead and get his body right, get his mind right, jump back out and get to some more money man so you know i'm happy for the brother that he was able to go ahead and do his thing you know so shouts out to him and uh y'all jump in the comment section let me know what y'all think concerning everything but uh, of course until next time certainly be blessed